December 21st, 2016. There are some strange events happening in Antarctica. You can sense that something isn't right. You can feel it from thousands of distant miles. But what exactly is taking place on the frozen continent that has the rest of the world worried? We can begin with a giant crack, some 70 miles long, that has developed at the South Pole, which threatens to destroy the Haley 6 research station, which is now being relocated as the crack continues to grow. This image, taken by scientists from NASA's IceBridge mission, shows a rift in Larsen Sea, an ice shelf off the Antarctic Peninsula. When the crack eventually spreads across the entire ice shelf, it will create an iceberg the size of the state of Delaware, roughly about 2,500 square miles. The crack is 300 feet wide and plunges down about one-third of a mile all the way through the ice to the ocean below. The rift is fairly new and the growth of the crack just recently took place according to the latest satellite imagery. Larsen C is Antarctica's fourth largest ice shelf and it holds back the land-based glaciers just behind it. Once the ice shelf goes, those slow-flowing glaciers have one less barrier in their journey toward the sea. The eventual calving of the Delaware-sized sheet of ice would remove between 9 and 12 percent of Larsen Sea's surface area and may lead to the crumbling of the entire ice shelf. What is entirely strange about this is that one section of the continent is accumulating ice, whereas the other half is steadily melting. This event is certain to ignite the climate change global warming debate. There is a mysterious crater that has formed on the eastern end of the continent on the ice shelf. The crater is actually a collapsed lake that developed due to ice melt an ominous sign of what is happening on the continent. So something is taking place at the South Pole and climate change alone cannot explain it. Maybe we should have considered giving credence to the predictions of the renowned clairvoyant Edgar Cayce, in which case the signs may have come much earlier. Logic would tell you that scientists have known about what is coming, their voices silenced by the almighty dollar, and by those who are empowered to rule over the world. Let's step back for just a moment to the early 20th century, when American mystic Edgar Cayce began using his clairvoyant powers to uncover details about our planet's hidden past. What Casey had envisioned did not bode well for humanity. He stated that the world in due order would change, resulting in a world beyond recognition. In his vision, in which records were kept of his spoken words, he stated the following. The earth will be broken up in many places. The early portion will see a change in the physical aspect of the west coast of America. There will appear open waters in the northern portions of Greenland. There will be seen new lands of the Caribbean Sea. South America will be shaken from the uppermost portion to the end. And in the Antarctic off Tierra del Fuego, there will be land and a strait with rushing waters. If you can envision his words, then the massive, massive crack that has recently been discovered will at some point in time reach the sea. And when it does, it will separate Larsen Sea from the rest of the ice shelf, creating an ice mass of some 6,500 square miles. The implications of such an event are enormous, as Casey states in his vision. Then there is first the breaking up of some conditions in the South Sea. 
and those as apparent as the sinking or rising of that which is almost opposite, or in the Mediterranean and the Etna area, then we may know it has begun. This is yet another indication that the Antarctic ice is melting and that sea levels will undoubtedly rise. So it now seems that the predictions of Edgar Cayce may be coming to fruition, just as he had envisioned so many years ago. Although there are restrictions on what can be accessed from this location, Satellite images do offer a glimpse into what is happening on the frozen continent at this time, as well as secrets into its past. Startling images of a pyramid, or three, sticking out above the ice have been shared online, raising questions about the possibility of man-made structures and ancient civilizations that may have existed at a past time. So have secrets of our past hidden for generations suddenly been uncovered? Or are we just grasping at straws while capturing images of natural edifices that resemble pyramids? Whatever secrets the continent may hold, things are changing rapidly on the frozen continent. That brings us to another question that has recently sparked a great deal of interest on the internet. Why did Secretary of State John Kerry make an unprecedented journey to the South Pole? with what was rumored to be vague concerns about a climate change issue. What was their real motive for going there? Was it to observe the giant crack in the ice shelf? Or maybe to observe and report back to Washington about the newly presumed discovery of ancient structures? Or was it something even more ominous? One can always speculate, but until the facts are known or become public, there will no doubt be a great deal of uncertainty about the reasons for his recent visit and what implications, if any, it holds for the future of our planet and its inhabitants. Then there is the matter involving former astronaut Buzz Aldrin and his recent visit to this area. He was medically evacuated from the continent a few weeks ago due to a sudden illness, in which afterwards he tweeted a totally bizarre message in which he warned that the earth is in danger, it is evil itself. He then promptly deleted the tweet, which has included a photo of the pyramid-shaped structure. So the question that has all of us puzzled concerns his ominous statement in which it seems apparent that he knows something, that there is more to the story than what meets the eye. If there were secrets to be found there, it could really change the way we understand the history of our planet and the progress of the human species. There is yet another mystery that has recently been reported from this region. It has to do with strange ground level events recently detected by the South Pole Neutron Monitor. You may remember that back on December 27, 2004, a gamma ray burst occurred that was so powerful that it bounced off of the moon and lit up the Earth's upper atmosphere. It was brighter than anything ever detected from beyond our solar system. The flash was detected just one day after the massive Indian Ocean earthquake and tsunami that killed hundreds of thousands on December 26, 2004. Now it seems that another massive cosmic ray burst is on its way to hit Earth sometime after Christmas. There appears to be a number of events or actions recently taken that provide signals to such an event taking place. There was the October executive order given by President Obama coordinating efforts to prepare the nation for extreme space weather events. Shortly thereafter was the unexplained South Pole visit of U.S. government and space agency representatives. On December 8th, there was the mysterious vibration which was detected around the world, and although the vibration looked like a classic earthquake, there was no earthquake at the time of the event and no source to explain it. 
the enormous crack spreading across Antarctica has potentially devastating consequences for the continent and the entire globe. But now a South Pole neutron monitor detected multiple ground level events. But once again with no source to establish a cause. We might wonder whether the ongoing strange events around the world, and in particular in Antarctica, have something to do with a powerful wave that has the potential to cause large devastation to the Earth. As showing in the Global Satellite Data Indicator beginning on December 17th, an unprecedented wave of energy was registered across the globe, which was unassociated with either solar or man-made activity, which means that its source is unknown. It could be that the anticipated cosmic burst of energy may never materialize, but then again no one knows for sure if the peculiar events that are happening around the world can be associated with space weather events. They could just as easily be attributed to events taking place in our solar system. This could also explain why White House and Space Agency officials recently visited Antarctica. If something catastrophic is approaching our planet from the far reaches of our solar system, then where better to detect the incoming system than from a location best suitable for observation? Whatever may be going on at the South Pole, it is being kept a secret and will remain a mystery for most of us. What is that huge bright object located above the horizon in the south-southwestern sky during sunset? Have you observed its movement? It remains above the horizon even after sunset, and has been located in the same position for many weeks. Some dismiss this as Venus, but if you pay close attention, you will notice that it continues to draw closer and is becoming more luminescent. Then there is the question of why it is appearing above the horizon for a considerable period of time. If this is Venus, as some have said, then why is it looking and behaving so strangely as it moves across the horizon? Now, I recently received a series of images from an amateur astronomer who has been following the movement of this planetary object across the southwestern sky for many months now. The object is unknown as it does not appear in the sky chart of celestial entities. According to the information I received, the object is located between Mars and Venus moving perpendicular to the ecliptic. And the coordinates as of June 15th are listed here. Whatever happens to be out there, it now appears to be getting closer, moving more rapidly, and becoming more defined, as this video capture would indicate. Now feast your eyes on this strange sunset from Brazil, captured just a few weeks ago. The video shows three separate light sources in the sky prior to dusk. Notice how the crowd of onlookers are gazing in amazement at this mysterious anomaly as they capture still images of what they are observing. I just received this image today from Milton, Florida that was taken during sunrise on December 1st, 2016. 
Not only has the camera picked up the presence of two sons, but if you look carefully at the yellow vehicle in the parking lot, you will notice that there are also two sun reflections, the larger sun seen on the left side of the trunk and the smaller sun towards the middle of the roof. Both reflections perfectly coincide with the positioning of the objects in the sky. You may have heard that there are strange humming sounds emanating from the heavens that have been heard in many parts of the world. There are many who now believe that the sounds of trumpets are caused by the approach of the Nibiru Nemesis system. In one of my previous videos, I talked about the trumpet sounds heard over Jerusalem just recently, which were followed by the formation of a strange circular cloud in the sky shown in this image. That video drew the attention of many of you who viewed it, referring to it as the circle of fire. The sounds of the trumpets are once again being heard, this time from Alexandria, Egypt on December 15th. Listen to the sounds of what is coming. I think that most of you will agree that we are living in astonishing times, a time in which every day brings us new objects of interest along with new objects for anxiety, and a time for uncertainty, but also enlightenment and a sense of anticipation for what lies ahead. I want to express my wishes for a joyous and blessed Christmas to all of our many subscribers. I sincerely hope that you and those who are close to you find comfort and peace of mind during this special time of the year.